Olá amigos, my name is Angela Antonio and I'm here to ask you, do you know who discovered Brazil? So, to answer this question, we have to get back a couple centuries ago to see how this started. have heard about the term age of discovery, right? Here in Brazil we say era do descobrimento. This term is very popular, but it's also very problematic, not to mention wrong. That's because when you use this term, we are referring to the period when the Europeans, they navigated, they sailed to other places in the world, but there was already people living in those places. So how it could be possible to say they discovered this place? This is actually a prejudice, and it's called Eurocentrism. Eurocentrism is when you take the European point of view as a universal one. The problem about this is because your sense of history will get twisted, and that's not good. But for a long, long time, Eurocentrism it wasn't debated in the schools. So lots of kids, lots of people, they grew learning that Pedro Álvares Cabral the Portuguese explorer who reached Brazil in 1500 discovered this country. But not you, because you already know from our first video that uh, way before the Portuguese arrived here, the indigenous people they were already living in this land. Regardless of this, let's focus on this Portuguese arrival in Brazil in 1500. That guy that I mentioned before, Pedro Alvarez Cabral, was the commander in charge of the Portuguese fleet that arrived in this land in April 22nd, 1500. It's said that Cabral was leading his men to a trade trip uh, towards Calicut in India, but you know, at a certain point they lost their orientation and ended up on the shores of Brazil, or at least what we call Brazil today. In that day, which was Easter, by the way, the Portuguese first saw a chunk of land which they decided to call Monte Pascual which means something like the Eastern Mount, because, you know, they were very Catholic people. This place still exists, and it's located in the city of Porto Seguro, in the state of Bahia. There, the Portuguese jumped off their ships, and they had the first contact with the natives. One of the most important reports of the moment was given to us by the clerk of the fleet, Pedro Vaz de Caminha. In his letter addressed to the Portuguese king, Manuel, he described the first interactions between the Portuguese and the natives. He noticed the natives had a darker skin and didn't wear anything, which means they were totally naked. The Portuguese, they took the natives by innocent people, comparing them to Adam and Eva in the Garden of Eden. Caminha also described the first exchanges between the Portuguese and the natives. While the natives gave them bows and arrows, the Portuguese gave them basically clothes, fabric, and food. Caminha also described Brazil's first mass, which was held by Friar Henrique de Coimbra. Before the Portuguese decided to call this land Brazil, they gave it the name Ilha de Vera Cruz. The word Ilha means island. That's because they used to think this land was an island. Then, when they noticed this land was a little bit bigger than an island, they decided to call it Terra de Santa Cruz, which means the land of the Holy Cross. It didn't take long until they realized this land was full of that tree they used to call Pau Brasil. So eventually the name Terra de Santa Cruz changed to Brazil. If you still don't know what the word Brazil means, you'll have to go to our first video, all right? Getting back to Pedro Vaz de Caminha and his report. By the end of this document, he told to the king they didn't find any trace of gold, silver, or any other precious metals, you know, they could be interest. He also assumed that the natives had no faith or religion, so he suggested to the king to save them, which, you know, means to convert them into Christians. It turns out this was a bias written by Caminha, because the indigenous people, the natives, they actually did have faith and their own religion. It was just different from the Christians. 
After this brief encounter, the Portuguese continued their trip towards India, and they actually didn't care too much about this land for the next 30 years. This was just the beginning of a long process called colonization, which lasted until 1822. What do you think about this story? If you like this story and want to check a translated excerpt of this letter, you just have to go to the description of this video and click on the link there. So again, if you like this video, smash the like button, subscribe and ring the bell for more videos. Até mais! This term is actually very popular, but also problematic. Problematic, problematic, but also problematic, problematic. Peru Vaz de Caminhas. So eventually, the name Terra de Santa.